Sean Coleman. Hey, Tyus, uh, great effort tonight from the bench, especially Desmond Bain and DeAnthony Melton. Do you have the, the best view of that when they're on? Just how do you see all three of y'all's chemistry clicking? And, you know, does it surprise you anymore when they have these games together that really help boost the effort of the Grizzlies, especially late in the game? Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we have a great chemistry. Um, you know, we feel, you know, that we have a great chemistry, uh, not only off the court, but on the court, continuing to build. Um, uh, you know, the more, uh, we're playing together out there on the court. So, um, continue to try to stick with it, um, figuring each other out. Uh, obviously me and Mel have a, have a good chemistry, haven't played, um, in the backcourt together a lot last year. And then now adding Bain to the mix, it's, it's been great. So, um, just figuring each other's game out, how we complement one another. Um, and when they, when they get it going, like they did tonight, uh, they make my job a lot easier. So, um, Fun to see. We're going to continue to try to build on it, um, and and hopefully we can continue to uh, play well. Jeff McDonald. This is hey Tyus. This is not about tonight's game, but I cover the Spurs down in San Antonio, and they just signed uh, Gorgie Ding, and I was told you're the guy to talk to about him. So what, what sort of uh, maybe if you've got a, a memory or a or a uh, story that kind of sums up. Um, that guy? Um, I mean, we've been teammates every single season since I've, since I've gotten in the league, uh, since he, you know, since we traded for him last year. But, um, I mean, he's just, I think anybody you ask about G will tell you he's the most down to earth, um, caring, genuine guy. And, um, you know, through no matter what, what the situation is, no matter what's going on, um, on the court, off the court, um, basketball related, non-basketball related. He's, um, you know, he's a person that you, you have the, the pleasure of getting to know, um, and have the pleasure, uh, you know, of him being around and he does nothing but, um, but touch people, uh, you know, in in a positive, positive way, positive light and, um, have a positive impact on everybody that he's around. So um, I have nothing but great things to say about G. That's my, you know, that's my, he's family for life. And uh, I'm excited for him, for his next opportunity. And, uh, you know, now he's down there with my brother. So uh, I told him, you just can't, you can't get away from my family, huh? So it's, it's cool to see. And um, I'm excited for him. Is he one of the more confident big men you've ever played with? Uh, 100%, 100%. He's extremely confident. Um, that's just, that's just who he is. He's confident in his abilities. He's confident in um, the work he puts in on a daily basis. Um, confident, just confident in himself. So um, to answer your question, yes. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Yes. Evan Barnes. Tyus, with the, with the win like this after, you know, the, the way the, um, the Utah games went, how big are these kind of games going down the stretch? And also, is it showing, you know, the experience you guys had last year being in kind of like a playoff, playoff type run in the bubble where you guys are learning kind of how to finish these type of games? Yeah, um, they're good for us. These are these are games. Um, yeah, that's, that's these are games where we got to grow. We got to grow as a team. These are um, these are the different tests where um, rough couple games in Utah. Um, but fortunate part of, of the league, especially this year, is. Uh, quick turnarounds to your next game. And so you got to be able to regroup, uh, adjust, uh, and, and be ready to go. And so we stepped up tonight, and that was a, that's a good one for us. Um, and now we get another crack at, at Utah. So um, another chance to to try to learn, try to take a, another step forward. Um, but games like this, situations like this um, are important, you know, for, for this group. Sean Coleman. Sean, you there? All right, we'll go to Adam Tyus. Hey, Tyus. You guys allowed just 19 points in the fourth quarter down the stretch tonight. What did you see out of the team's defense that allowed the team to clamp down so much during crunch time? Um, just sticking with it, trusting our coverages, trusting, um, you know, trusting the guy next to you, trusting that, you know, we can be a little more aggressive um, on the ball, because we know if we get beat, the guy next to us is going to have our back. And 
um, just sticking with it, being able to, to lock in in the fourth is crucial and um, did a great job of, you know, getting deflections. Um, when we didn't get deflections, making them take tough shots and then rebound and holding them to one shot. Um, and then that catapults us right into our, our transition, uh, transition offense, which is one of our strengths. So um, being able to lock in like that in the fourth quarter is, is crucial for us and um, is gonna give us a, a good chance to win uh, at the end of the night, a lot of, a lot of times. So um, something that we'll try to continue to do moving forward. Last question, Christos. Hello, Tayus. Congratulations on the win. How important for you to carry on the 48-minute effort to the game against uh, the Jazz and build on that win tonight? Can you, can you say that again? I'm sorry. Yeah. How important is to carry on the 48-minute effort to the game against the Jazz and how important is to build on that uh, win, on tonight's win for the rest of the season? It's extremely important. It's extremely important. We uh, that's something you know we're striving for is to put 48 minutes together night in and night out. And, um, you know, the NBA game so long that you can play 36 minutes of great basketball and have a 12-minute stretch of not so good ball, and that's that's how you lose the game. So, um, especially against the Jazz, you know, you, we got to be locked in and focus the full 48. Um, stick to our game plans on both ends of the floor. Um, and it'll be, a, it'll be a, a good matchup for us just having just played them twice. And, um, you know, we, we feel like we know them. You know, they probably feel like they know us pretty well. It's um, kind of like a mini series. So um, it'll, be, it'll be a good matchup for us, a good test for us. And, um, yeah, we got to be locked in the full 48, try to use this, um, use this win as, as a little momentum, you know, going into that one. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.